In this video, I'll be answering the question you see on the screen here from paper 33 from the year 2024 Cambridge A-level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different paper, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, so take advantage of YouTube, pause, rewind, whatever helps you out. Uh, if you find this or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, or even a share. In question six, they give us these two inequalities here and ask us to shade the region that these two describe on an argon diagram. So how do we do that? Um, first thing, I want to rewrite both of these. We know a lot about the modulus of the difference of two complex numbers, but that's not quite what I see here. Uh, to change that, we just get z minus um, a complex number. So that instead of minus 4 minus 3i, I'd be minus the number plus 4 plus 3i. That's, that's uh, the, the change I want to make. Because now we can find this point instead of accidentally finding uh, that one. I'll do something very similar over here with the argument. The argument of, that becomes the argument of z minus 2 plus i. Um, and that's still greater than or equal to pi over 3. Okay, the difference of two complex numbers, the modulus of the difference of two complex numbers, is the distance between those numbers. Let's first draw this number in, 4 plus 3i. Go down here, up to around here. Um, I'm doing my best with my uh, uh, argon diagram on the whiteboard. You, you should do your best as well, but use a ruler when you can, use a compass when you can. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to teach you, I'm just being rough here. Okay, um, this, if, the best way to draw this is to assume this is an equals. So the distance between z and this number is 2. So where would that be? That would be 2 down would get me about here. 2 to the left would get me about here. 2 to the right, somewhere here. 2 up, uh, I'll go a little off my board, somewhere up there. And it would be a circle, hopefully, you see. Uh, get a compass, draw in a circle as best as you can, hopefully better than mine. And you get something like that if this was an equals. It's not, well, there is an equals, there's a less than or equal to. And the less than means the distance between z is less than, um, the distance between z and this number is less than two. So it's any, anywhere inside this circle is what this describes. I'd shade in this entire circle to describe uh, uh, this uh, function. Now, what about the argument? The argument says, uh, the argument is the angle. Usually the argument of a number usually comes from zero. And in this case, it's the argument, it's the angle be made between a point and two plus one. Uh, two plus one is here. So um, they're just saying that there's a point set that makes an angle greater than pi over three. Remember pi over three is uh, 60 degrees. Uh, once again, we assume this is an equals and we put it, put it this point here, and we go to 60 degrees. Um, something, something like this, uh, we'll just say. And we'll put a line out from there. And uh, that's, um, that's if it was equals. It's not equals, it's actually greater than. So what we do is we rotate around from this point. Uh, greater than. Uh, this is where hopefully somebody can correct me. Um, I believe we're meant to rotate only 180 degrees. So we'd end up going all the way down to, all the way down along this line. Or, uh, but I might be wrong, it might be only to the, the x-axis, parallel to the x-axis. Okay, so what this says, it says it's greater than this 60 degrees. So it's all the region over here, everything over that point. So where did these two agree? In the circle? and to the left of the line. They all agree in this area here. And that's uh, what the examiner wants to see. In part B, they ask us to find the greatest value of, for the argument of z. Now, let's remind ourselves what z is. z is every single point in this shaded region. Any point in there is a valid answer to part A for z. And the argument of z is the angle between any point in here and zero, zero. Not to, don't be confused by this point here. That we, you, we got the argument from that in the first part only because it was um, Z was, we took, took it away from Z. 
In this case, there's nothing taken away from Z, or you could think of a zero, zero being taken away from Z, and that's why we use the zero, zero point. Sorry, that's quarter geometry I'm talking. A zero plus zero Y point in the Argon diagram. So we're looking for a line from uh, the zero, zero point that's the, has the biggest angle. So it could be the line going to this point, but that's bigger, that's bigger. It's actually gonna be a tangent to this circle. That's the biggest, uh, the biggest angle in here. So we're looking for this number in here. At this point, this becomes a, a, a geometry question. Uh, you, could, you could also do it as a coordinate geometry question. Um, I assume you could probably do vectors in here somewhere. Most things you can answer with vectors. But I'm just gonna think of it as geometry, but I'm still gonna try and use as much uh, um, complex numbers as I can. Um, the trick at this point is to notice that you can make a triangle of it. Let me draw that picture again. Let me draw a circle, a tangent point, a point it goes down to the, the zero, zero point, the center. If I draw a triangle between here and here, this is the important thing to notice here. This is a triangle with a right angle, um, and it's a triangle we can get lots of things. We know the radius of this circle. The radius of the circle was two. So in this triangle, we have a, a number for it, and we know this uh, point here, this point is four plus three i. So that means we can get the length of this, that's just the modulus. The length here is the modulus of four plus three i, uh, which is equal to four squared plus three squared, that's uh, 16 plus nine is the square root of 25, which is equal to five. So this triangle has a length five. Uh, sorry, we know three things already. We know a length here, a length here, and an angle up here. We can get anything on this triangle. We can get this angle in here. And remember, ultimately, I'm looking for this whole angle. So if I can get this one, now all I need is this angle. Again, this, this angle can be got because we know this point. This point here, this angle here is the argument of this point. And this point was uh, four plus three i. Four plus three i. So this angle, uh, let's name some of these. Let's uh, call this one in here theta, and let's call this one out here phi, and then we're looking for them added together. So theta, the argument of this is equal to theta, um, and that can be found by the inverse tangent of uh, three over four. So that's one of the answers. Uh, the other answer, this angle in here, this, uh, what did I call this one, theta? Sorry, that should be phi in that case. Uh, this one in here, that's just a right angle triangle. The opposite of this angle is two. The hypotenuse is five. So that just tells me sine of theta is equal two over five. Theta is equal the inverse sine, uh, the inverse uh, sine of two over five. The answer we're looking for is this number plus this number. The, the, the total, the argument, the maximum argument of Z is just equal to this plus this, if you put that into a calculator, um, they, they don't tell you to do it in radians or degrees, so uh, that's the answer in radians. Again, this, this number plus this number, or a perfectly okay as well is 60.4 is the answer in degrees. Okay, hopefully that answered um, question six for you. Not very neat at the end there. It was, it was a good, tricky question in that you had to solve a puzzle rather than just working through math, so makes it a little more difficult to teach, unfortunately. But I am available to answer questions. If you uh, put questions in the comments below, I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.